Hey guys, welcome back to Codon Box Automation Lab. This is Sherfon. So this is the part two about Android hybrid app using APM automation. So if you remember in our last lecture, you know we did everything as per the instruction, everything's uh, right. So and then over, if you remember that, you know we we got the both context name and then we pass uh, the context name over here for the for the web view as well as then we did some uh, per, uh, did some some action up there you know type the code in box and it's and then after that we press the back keyboard uh, keyword you know the key event so that it's go back to the native app and also we pass the native app context so it's supposed to back to the native app but we have seen in our last lecture if you remember that you know it didn't even go through go through the web view it load the web view but it didn't go up there and we found an, er an error so what was the error let's uh, let's uh, read the error once again here is if you go all the way up um, the error was uh, let me see you can see no no such context exception an unknown server side error occurred while processing the command the original error you can see read this part read this part you can see the error it's over here it says clearly it's saying the original error is no chrome driver found that can automate chrome 83 okay 04103 you could try also enable automate chrome driver down um, download okay so it means it didn't find any chrome driver based on the chrome browser 83 version that can do some automate in the chrome browser because if you remember because uh you know when it's load the chrome browser like the google uh you know the uh, google browser like chrome drive uh, chrome browser right so we need the chrome driver to do some work on the web view if you're familiar with the C uh, selenium see so you know the selenium they have we have you know different driver for each and every different browser so we have a compatible driver right uh, this is one of the very important things that you have to confirm that you have the right driver for the right browser so in a in our automation over here if I look for our base class where we have all the desired capabilities in in over here this is our desired capabilities where we have driver which is the Android driver you can see is the new Android driver so this is the object of the Android driver so so in our our all the script we have everything's a driver they are using it is the Android driver which is you know enable to work on Android which is the you know the Android platform on Android view right but so this driver cannot do anything on web view right so the web view is a completely different view than Android view or app view right so it is a difference so that's why you know for do something on a web view we need the driver actually you know the chrome driver which is which can war work on the chrome browser and here is also you can see it's called you know the browser the chrome browser version is 83 it means the browser it's running on that app you know uh, like web view browser uh, that chrome browser it is the 83 version so we need to have the exact right browser version also so let's get the driver okay so if you go you know so you could just you can say you know download uh, Chrome driver download web driver for Chrome yeah download web driver for Chrome and then go to their official site and here 83 right so if you go all the way down if you get all the way down this is 99 so it is a very old version right so you have to confirm you have that one so 83 88 83 okay so here is the 83 so you can download this one so if you go click on up there so and, and over here so download for Windows machine you can download this win 32 for the Mac you can download for 
Mac 64 right so download this one I have already in my machine so I'm not downloading so it's very simple you know if you used to do the selenium it's the same thing you know you will download this one and then you know it is a zip file so you have to unzip it and then you have to place it wherever you have locations where well, right now I have let me show you where I have my driver so over here oh, sorry I have selenium so I have over here all my driver you can see I have a multiple driver over here chrome drivers so you know so chrome driver M so I and then I have a driver so this is the driver for I do a selenium which is the you know up to date so but this is the driver I downloaded and you can see I put a M at the end to make it you know differentiate so this is for the it is the based on 83 version of the chrome so this is the one you know i i need to you know declare in my code so in my base file in a base class i have to tell them this is the, the driver that i'm using okay so let's go to my base class so how where i can i can place over here so it's my base class let me put it down in my base class over here and i have to pass inside where I declare all my desired capability which is the part of over here right so here I use the UI automator object and use the the options over here you like set device what is the device name like said you know app where is the app right so similarly I have to tell over here where is my uh, or where, where is my the chrome driver to, to do this so use the again options over here options dot there is a method you know to declare your chrome driver is called set chrome driver chrome driver uh, set chrome driver executable set chrome driver executable so this is the method where so hover your mouse and after that add argument you can see match the set chrome driver executable so this is the expect string variable which is the your uh, which is uh, okay change to get chrome driver no it's, it is the set chrome driver okay uh, like your path of my chrome driver so let me just you know place the path of my chrome driver where I have so, so it's, it expect a string so this is the place where I have my chrome driver which is the 83 version based on the 83 version of the Chrome browser okay make sure you have you know match the browser following your the error message you know you, your lock file it shows right so in my lock I, it clearly it says that you know I don't have the Chrome driver for the version Chrome browser 83 okay so it should be over here now this driver can so it seems this is on my base class right in my base class over here before config apm so over here in my base class right here all my driver everything over there so when you know my my the driver it will look for over here when after the driver you know uh, this is the uh, context for the web and from here when is the this driver when is going to be you know try to uh, click on the search box so this driver it will be the driver from the chrome driver that 83 version I downloaded and I passed the directory path okay so this is the one from so over here this driver so up until this up until this this will be the chrome driver okay and then again this will start it with the uh, Android driver okay so that's the way it sh should work so minimize this and let's run it again run it okay let's up the console a little bit okay looks good the app has got kicked off so here we go should it start selecting the country started started to s scrolling 
So if you remember, you know, last lecture, you know, we changed from Canada to Bangladesh to make it to save our a little bit time because Canada is a little bit down. So here we can see Bangladesh over here. So it should click up there. Here we go. We can see it. Jennifer entered the name. Select the female as a, uh, you know, the radio options, and then click up there, and then it should start scrolling to find our product, which is which is the Jordan uh, Nine Retro. So this is the Air Jordan. So this is the one. It should click on Add to Cart for this product. Here we go. Click, then it's supposed it's already clicked. Click on there, and then it's supposed to click on the visit of the website to complete the purchase. So now it's you know the when we had the issue over here, you know it's supposed to load the web view, which is the Chrome browser. Here we go. We can see it. It's loaded, and now we're expecting over here. It's supposed to. Enter and type code in box through the Chrome driver. Okay, so that was the issue in the last time. Here we go. I can see. You can see. You see, it started the code and typing the code in box now. Then it's supposed to all hit enter because we perform that that too. It's a hit it enter. Then you know it will so. You know you have to adjust with some wait period because it takes a little bit time to load depends on your system performance you know here we go we can see it's hit enter and then it okay and then it's you know click on the back button and went back to the Android app okay and now you can see the report there is no failure there is no failure run one if you want to see the result over there after it's hit enter you know increase the wait period over here so that you can see you know you can make it probably you know uh, four seconds so you can see exactly after it's it's uh, you know type and hit enter and then you can see the result also but it's went through and it did the job ex you know exactly it's supposed to and there is no error we, we don't see any more error it's uh, this is the you know run one no failure and the past one and if you see the result there you can see you know this is our you know uh, test cases and there is no failure exception okay so that's the way you are going to handle the error so please remember there's a not only that you have to get the context uh, you know context name for the different view whether it's web view or uh, native app view but also you know when you uh, before you move you know uh, your driver to the web view you have to pass you have to make sure you have the right driver as per your browser version whether it's a chrome mostly it's a chrome you know so you have to make sure you have the right browser but if you if i mean how are you going to know you know first times you are going to run it and then it will give you the log you read the log it will tell you exactly what is the browser version and then based on that you can download it and then you know pass the root directory and set you know on your base on your base class as your one of the desired capabilities okay so that's all for today Please don't forget to share and subscribe and I have a good one. Bye-bye.